So how many times have you gone into the drug or vitamin store or even looked online at supplements and just stared at all the different brands of vitamins, not knowing which is the best to buy? I know I have. I'm Nicole, your Mad About Meds pharmacist, and here today we are going to uncover what quality certifications on dietary supplements mean and which certifications on products are good to look for. So stay tuned. The dietary supplement market was worth over $165 billion in 2022. With so many products and brands on the market, it's become so hard for you as the consumer to know what is the safest and most effective product. Consistency and quality remains one of the biggest concerns for dietary supplements. And this is where third-party certifications come in. There are a growing number of certifications out there, but they're not all created equal. So to start with, we have to go to the very basics. It's important to understand what good manufacturing practices or GMP regulations are. Facilities that comply with GMP regulations require a certain standard of quality assurance and cleanliness to ensure that their manufactured supplements or products are consistent from lot to lot and are not contaminated or have ingredients not on the label that have been added. It's important to note that some third-party certifications only require paper certification or essentially the manufacturer completes a self-test that they check all the boxes and follow GMP regulations. Other manufacturers conduct random spot checks on off-the-shelf products and even some analyze the products to ensure that they are free of banned ingredients and contaminants. Most programs require testing every one to two years. For herbal products or supplements that come from plant sources, quality checks can be complicated. There are actually natural inconsistencies in these ingredients, which can be magnified by improper cultivation or harvesting practices. Other inconsistencies can come from the time of year the plant was harvested to weather that year and crop location. So good agricultural and collection practice or GACP standards from various organizations can be used as a benchmark to determine quality sourcing of plant ingredients. So bottom line, not all certifications are created equal. Some programs really do ensure quality of their products while others are lacking. So let's dive a little bit deeper into these certifications. One of the most common certifications you'll hear about is USP verification. This is a great certification to see on supplements. They require on-site annual audits for GMP regulation compliance and have annual evaluations of products to ensure that their product and quality matches what's on the product label. They also look for the presence of contaminants yearly. So these are things like heavy metals, pesticides, microbes, etc. They perform these quality tests on products that have made it to the actual store shelf, so it's a little more legitimate. To find what brands are USP certified, you can go to quality-supplements.org, and I'll also put the link in the description below. There are many manufacturers that are certified. So next is NSF content certified. This is very similar to USP verification. They require on-site annual audits for GMP regulation compliance as well as annual quality and contaminant testing from products off the shelf. NSF certified for sport is the same as NSF content certified, except that they require biannual on-site audits and annual testing for presence of drugs and banned ingredients. There are many products that have NSF certification. You can go to nsf.org or search to search for dietary supplements that are certified. Again, I'll put the link below. Another certification is empowered by evidence accreditation. This does not require on-site audits for GMP regulation compliance, but rather off-site paper reviews. However, they do confirm compliance with their GACP or their botanical products and require specific evidence of clinical benefit on their supplements by at least one well-designated randomized controlled trial. They do not test products off the shelf, but they do require paper review of manufacturer testing to confirm quality of ingredients. They do not look for presence of contaminants. There's a lot less products with these certifications. And again, I'll put a link below to this one. Another is consumer lab quality certified. This is another decent certification. They do not require evidence of GMP compliance for regulations, but they do perform off the shelf ingredient identities for quality, as well as annual off the shelf presence of contaminant testing. There are a lot of manufacturers that have this certification as well. Again, I'll put the link below. 
Certifications I would not recommend are Informed Choice, Informed Sport, BCCG Certified GMP, BSCG Certified Drug Free, or BSCG Certified Quality. So overall, as a pharmacist, I would recommend a supplement that's either USP certified or NSF content certified. They seem to be the most comprehensive certifications currently out there for supplements. As always, I have to end with a joke. So you may have heard this one before, but I couldn't resist. It's an oldie but a goodie. So what vitamin is good for your eyesight? Vitamin C. <laughs> okay, well, I hope you found this video informative. Hopefully next time you're looking for a supplement, you'll be able to navigate the vitamin aisle with ease. So feel free to ask any questions below and don't forget to like and subscribe while you're down there. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you next time.